हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टू माय चैनल जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग कंसल्टेंसी टिप्स दिस लेक्चर इज बीइंग नंबर्ड एज लेक्चर 19 बट दिस इज द 22nd लेक्चर ऑफ माय सीरीज विद द हेल्प ब्लेसिंग्स एंड योर लव बीइंग शावर्ड ऑन माय चैनल आई एम एबल टू कंटिन्यू फर्दर थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर योर सपोर्ट टिल डेट नाउ coming to my topic today's topic of correlation of n values with the properties of granular and non granular soils you all must be knowing that n value spt value which is being famous as standard penetration test all over the world is a very important test in any geotechnical engineering foundation design granular refers to the sandy soil and non granular refers to the clay soil this lecture of mine today would be a very brief one because of the very important spt value why is it so because spt value test is very important and must requisite for each and every geotechnical investigation for whatsoever structure we do it in whatsoever part of the world it is very necessary to be included in any soil testing project report now the n value the standard penetration test test value is being done as per is 2131 1981 may be it has been reaffirmed further also reaffirmed latest version spt value is basically a test which we do conduct at field in which we drop a monkey of hammer a monkey of weight uh, hammer of weight 63.5 kg from a 75 cm drop vertically either it is being done manually or by auto trip hammer and there are three values being recorded as n1 n2 and n3 which i think everybody knows n1 is the seating n value and actual n value the standard penetration test value is the sum total of n2 plus n3 now this chart of mine depicts upon how to explain the sandy soil with reference to n values with its term relative density because spt value gives a first impression of the angle of internal friction value of the sand that is the density denseness of the soil the sand while the same n values when being conducted in cohesive soil that is the clay strata it refers to its ucs that is its consistency that is rather to say is unconfined compressive strength बेसिकली क्या है कि द एन वैल्यूज इज बीइंग रेफर टू इन सैंडी सॉइल विद द टर्म रिलेटिव डेंसिटी एंड इज रिलेटेड विद द एंगल ऑफ इंटरनल फ्रिक्शन एंड इन क्ले सॉइल्स इट इज बीइंग रेफर टू एज कंसिस्टेंसी एंड रिलेटेड विद यू अनकंफाइंड कंपोजिशन इफ एट फील्ड बिकॉज़ वी डू दिस टेस्ट वर्टिकली थ्रू आउट द बोरोर एट एवरी 1.5 मीटर इंटरवल और 3 मीटर इंटरवल और व्हाटएवर द स्कोप ऑफ वर्क डिफाइंस अस टू डू सो if n value is less than 4 it is being referred to as very loose sand if it is being observed at between 4 to 10 it is termed as loose sand in between 10 to 30 it is termed as medium sand in between 30 to 50 it is termed as dense relative density sandy soil and if it is greater than 15 it is being termed as very dense relative density sand and this is the angle of internal friction which may be correlated which is usually correlated worldwide with these range uh, if n value is less than 4 25 to 30 degree 4 to 10 in between 27 to 30 degree 32 degree from 10 to 30 in between 30 to 35 degree from 30 to 50 in between 35 to 40 degree and for greater than 50 it is being referred to as the angle of internal friction of that very sandy soil would be in the range of 38 degree to 43 degree although it is being confirmed in the laboratory by direct shear test method in the lab on the brought in 
standard pressure test sample from the field. So that is what I wish to say about this relative density part of the sandy soil. And now coming on to the consistency of the clay soil. If the n value is less than 2, it is being referred to as very soft clay soil with UCS less than 0.25 kg per centimeter square. If n values are in between 2 to 4, it is being referred to as soft consistency clay soil with UCS in the range of 0.25 to 0.50. If this value is between 4 to 8, this n value, it is being termed as medium uh, consistency clay soil and this UCS is being referred to as in between, it, this value will be uh, coming in between 0.5 to 1. Now for 8 to 16 n value, it is a stiff consistency and UCS as 1 to 2 kg per centimeter square if this n value is 16 to 32 the clay soil is very stiff consistency clay soil and UCS varies from 2 to 4 kg per centimeter square and for n values greater than 32 it is being termed as very hard consistency cohesive soil with UCS value greater than 4 so now in a nutshell to conclude what I wish to say is this n value test, this standard penetration test is very important aspect of any geotechnical engineering project because rather to say this value can give you at least a glance of the kind of the strength of the soil, the consistency of the soil vertically along the borehole explored at the site it can give you a first hand picture of the sand or clay soil or its hardness or consistency being available at the site. Thank you dear friends, this is what I wish to say in this lecture of mine. Thank you very much, keep on subscribing and watching to my channel. Thank you.